Hey everyone, welcome back HTech. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest tech tutorials. In today's video, the latest Mac OS Sequoia is now available for download. In today's video, I'm bringing you 10 essential settings you should change as soon as you update your Mac OS to Sequoia or after getting your hands on a brand new MacBook. These tips will help enhance your privacy, security, and overall experience with the new system. So let's get started. 1. Enable rotating Wi-Fi addresses for extra privacy. The first setting to change is enabling the new rotating Wi-Fi addresses feature. This is a simple way to boost your privacy by randomizing your Wi-Fi address to prevent tracking. Here's how you do it. Go to System Settings Wi-Fi Details. Under the Private Wi-Fi Address section, select the Rotating option. This will automatically change your Wi-Fi address regularly to help protect your privacy. 2. Privacy and Security tab Overhaul Apple has revamped the Privacy and Security section in Sequoia. There are a few must-change settings here. First, let's turn off Significant Locations Tracking. Go to Location Services, scroll down to System Services, and disable Significant Locations. This prevents your Mac from keeping a log of your frequent locations. It won't affect apps like Maps, but will stop location-based tracking. Also, make sure to enable the Show Location icon to know when apps are accessing your location. 3. Rapid Security Response – Instant Security Updates Next up is Rapid Security Response, a feature that ensures you get crucial security updates without needing a system restart. To enable this, go to General, Software Update, Automatic Updates. Click on the Info icon and enable Install Security Responses and System Files. This keeps your Mac protected from the latest threats in real time. 4. Custom Headphone Profiles For better audio quality, Sequoia introduces custom headphone profiles. To set this up, go to Accessibility, Audio, Headphone Accommodations, and try out the custom audio setup. You can even upload your audiogram to optimize sound based on your hearing profile. 5. Vocal Shortcuts Another cool feature in Sequoia is vocal shortcuts. This lets you control various functions on your Mac using voice commands. Head over to Accessibility, Vocal Shortcuts, Setup. Choose a command like taking a screenshot, give it a name, repeat it three times, and you're good to go. 6. The new Password app. Sequoia now includes a native password manager to compete with apps like LastPass. To set it up, open the Passwords app, hit Settings, and enable Show Passwords in Menu Bar for easy access. This app syncs across your devices using iCloud and can even be accessed from Windows devices using the iCloud app. 7. Windows Tiling If you enjoy multitasking, you'll love the new Windows Tiling feature in Sequoia. To activate this, go to Desktop and Dock Settings, scroll to Tiling, and switch it on. Now you can easily drag and tile your windows similar to paid apps like Magnet. 8. Voice to Text in Notes a fantastic update to the Notes app is the ability to record audio and have it transcribed. You can use this feature during meetings or phone calls, and the app will even summarize the audio for you. Simply click the new Record Audio button in the Notes app and let it do its thing. 9. iPhone Mirroring You can now fully mirror your iPhone to your Mac with iPhone Mirroring. Just make sure both devices are signed into the same Apple account. Open the new iPhone mirroring app in the dock, and you'll have full access to your iPhone from your Mac. 10. New Wallpapers and Dynamic Screensavers Lastly, check out the new Retro Wallpapers and Dynamic Screensavers. Right-click on your desktop, select Change Wallpaper, and explore the new designs. These are a fun throwback to the early days of Mac OS, and you can even customize colors. Those are my top 10 settings to change right away in Mac OS Sequoia. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like, comment with a Mac emoji, and subscribe to HTech for more tech tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.